Hey everyone, welcome to my channel. Today's Friday, August 11th, and I'm just squeezing out some excess water from the sphagnum moss here. Because I'm going to start a couple of cuttings that I just purchased and received in the mail. This is nice fresh sphagnum moss right out of the bag. Not reusing anything. Oh, that's nice and damp and fluffy. All right, so I moved into the cellar. It's a little bit quieter here, and here are the cuttings. And they are Ative D'Argentile. I think that's, a, I'm not sure if I'm probably messing that up. It's supposed to be a French variety. Um, it's pretty good sized cuttings. And it's a little late. I mean, it's August. I don't think I've started cuttings in August. Um, I might keep them in the cellar. It's a little bit cooler, so they won't. I don't know. It's a little bit different going into the spring. You know, the, the cuttings are just waking up. Um, I wonder if I should put these in the fridge maybe for a little bit and then bring them out. I don't know. But uh, I had the UC Davis version of this, native P. Argentile. And I got rid of it. Should have kept it. So i seen this up for auction on eBay, or listed on eBay, so couldn't resist. So these are nice sized cuttings. It looks like already have some white nodes on there. This might be a quick... I think it's supposed to be a slow grower, but maybe it will root quickly. Yeah, so these are really fresh cuttings. You can see where the leaves have been cut off. Still green. So, yes, I'm just going to put them in the moss. And hopefully I can get these to root and have them well on their way before it starts to get cold out. Probably, maybe I can bring these inside, have them in the house for a while. Let them go semi-dormant or something, or force them to go dormant, put them in the lean-to, then bring them out of dormancy early. I don't know. So today's August 11th, Friday, August 11th. These are Hativ Diagentil. see what happens and this is the moss long fibered moss you can get this at your local big box store can I say the names Home Depot Lowe's so to be continued We'll see how these progress. Okay, so today's Monday, August 28th. These are the Hativ de Argentile cuttings, two cuttings, about 10 inches long. I put in this shoebox on the 11th, and I have some roots forming. Let's take a look. Got some. Difficult decision here. This isn't a straightforward go ahead and put it in a cup type of cutting. Um, I'm reluctant to cut it in half. Um, I don't want to bleed out any of the ener energy that's in this cutting. Um, but I have a bud right there. And I've got a, two roots. But there's also a bud right at the top here too. Is this focusing? Okay. You can 
can see that. Um, well, I didn't notice that bud there before, so maybe I'll just go ahead and put this in a cup. Now, since it is long, what I decided to do is put these two cups together. I did that with a black Madeira. That was extra long. It's so long I can't get it in the shot here. But Yeah, I just took another cup upside down, took the bottom off, and I've got my mix here of mostly bark and some perlite and a little bit of soil. I'm going to put it in this cup. So that center node there will just rot off. So I just want to take some of this mixture here, put a little in the bottom. this in so I got that one now the second cutting has a root forming right there but there's a root also way at the top here So I'm tempted to cut these in half, but I'm not going to. Don't want to risk it. So this one here will benefit also from a nice long cup here. Or container. Um, and hopefully I'll get some bud somewhere at the top there to open up. So I put them in the bin under some fluorescent lights, got a damp towel on the side of the bin here, keep up the moisture, and I put a plexiglass lid on this, and go from here, see what happens. Today's Monday, August 28th. Here's the black Madeira cutting I was afraid uh, was going to dry out because it had a, a, a lot of the uh, cutting was above the soil line. It was a really long cutting. So I added this extra tear here and it just started to come around. I don't see any growth, any roots on, on this upper portion here that I added the new soil to. But I think it did help prevent it from drying out. I've been meaning to get that wax grafting tape. That would have been useful also. But it looks like it's coming around now. Okay, so it's uh, now Monday, September 4th. Let's take a look at the progress so far on these Hativ D. Arjun Teal cuttings. So you can see the one on the left has some uh, good growth there. Some nice leaves showing. The one on the right does have a couple of buds though that are opening up. I think it has three. There's one on the other side. Uh, let's see. Roots. I see something there. And you can see the humidity on the inside of the cup. Let's take a closer look. Yeah, so there are three buds here, just opening up. Let's see, roots. Oh, there's some right there. 
So that's a good sign. I don't see anything else. Let's take a look at this one. There's that one root. That's it. So today's Monday, September 4th. That's the progress so far on these two Hativ de Argentile cuttings. Today is Monday, September 11th. Another week has gone by. Let's take a look at the progress on these fig cuttings. See the leaves have grown out a little bit. I've been looking at this wondering if I should cut back the plastic because they're sort of impeding these leaves here. Um, yeah, I might have to gingerly cut that back. Let's see the roots. Okay, so this is the one on the left. You can see have made considerable progress on the roots, have some secondary roots forming. And this root is wrapping up toward the top now. Um, nothing really on the other side, so there are just roots that... Oh, no, there's, there's a root there. So that, yeah, wasn't there another root that had formed on this long cutting, I believe? If I can remember correctly, so that's probably that one. Yeah, so I'm happy with that. Let's take a look at the one on the right. Again, it has the three buds that opened up, making some progress. And the root here also has formed some secondary roots. Nice uh, humidity level looks like on the inside. I really haven't watered these in a week. Don't really, isn't really necessary. Although we have roots and we have the leaves on the top here, they're not necessarily connected and using a lot of water. Might be using all the energy just in the cutting, although there is obviously photosynthesis going on because there is uh, green. There are green leaves there. So yeah, nothing else visible. Happy with that too. So progressing along. So this is New England Gardening showing the rooting process on two Hativ uh, diargentile fig tree cuttings and the progress that I've been able to make in a one-month period. Thanks for watching.